Hello, welcome to Hartwick Pine State Park. My name is Craig. I'm the park interpreter here. We're going to talk about parts of a flower and how pollination happens in those flowers. Now, I already set up the things that I'm going to point out, but let's draw these parts now. So we've got the stem of a flower. Now, flowers aren't normally this big, so keep in mind that these normally will be smaller. And so this is the stem, and these are the sepals. Give some color to this. Okay. And then we're going to have a purple flower. I like purple. So we'll have the petals. And the petals can be up to four, sometimes more than that. You look at a daisy, those are lots of petals on a daisy. Okay, so we'll kind of color this in real quick. There's your petals. Of course, there'd be one right in front, holding up or hiding everything else. And there's your petals right here. Now, in the interior of that, we'll draw the female parts first we have what's called the style and the stigma and down here is the ovary now here's the other part of this are the filaments and the anthers and there could be a lot of these on flowers look really closely for these they're kind of tiny very fragile and this is where all the magic happens right here so your filament and your anther. This is where the pollens occurs, right? And so this bee comes along. Let's see, I'm pre-made a bee here, bumblebee. Bumblebee comes along, lands on here, gets full of all that pollen, gets on its body, its legs, its, its antennae, um, its wings, and flies off. Then goes back to another flower, gets more pollen, crosses over the stigma and the pollen goes down this tube and fertilizes this egg, and that's where more seeds are produced. So if you get a chance, go outside, look at some of these flowers, and hopefully understand a little bit more about pollination and all the parts of the flowers you see. Take care.